Welcome back to Legal Briefs on CP24, simulcast across the country on Court TV Canada. We just have a few more minutes with Dave Parkinson from the Canadian Coalition Against the Death Penalty. Um, as the hours tick on uh, south of the border, as they wait in California for the execution of Stanley Tookie Williams, that is a live shot out in front of San Quentin Prison, as protesters will um, gather there for a vigil. Uh, as they wait to see whether or not the U.S. Supreme Court will intervene in the last remaining moments uh, in his life. And uh, anybody who ever saw that movie... Um, uh, Redemption? The, the one no, with Jamie no, Foxx? No, I'm talking about uh, Dead Man Walking. Dead Man Walking. Dead Man Walking. Sarandon, yeah. And uh, th that scene as he's walking uh, in those last minutes uh, mm -hmm. to, the, uh, uh, to, to his death... Um, unbelievable to actually see that and what that meant. Catherine, are you there? Yeah, I am. Thank go you. Go ahead. You're on the um, air. I, I'll have to go quickly. Um, I was going to say everybody has an agenda, agenda, even in the name of humanity. I happen to be a friend of Romeo Fillion, who had been convicted and uh, served, mm. I think it was 32 years before. He was released of innocence right. unequivoc unequivocally. Um, uh, let me think. Uh, there's so many Milgard, all of them. Um, definitely, I'm... I'm really glad at this point because we don't have um, the proof that we need to get rid of these people. On the other hand, with people like Olson and David, uh, or sorry, Paul Bernardo, right. give me the switch, I'll be happy to pull it. I'm sorry. There, I know that that sounds like... I thought you were just uh, saying the first part of what you're saying is, is you're talking about the, the potential mistakes, the wrongfully convicted. Absolutely, and but when mm -hmm. there are no mistakes and you can well, see you it a mile away with, right. with DNA in, in front of your face or... I mean, anything like but David, that... But David's p point was being is, is that there is never 100% certain. No. Maloney, that's ridiculous. How can you say... I mean... <laughs> Paul Bernardo mm -hmm. on, a, on a tape. How can you say okay. that that's not under 100 percent? I mean, just because the, no. you know his, the witch got off, it doesn't mean no. that. Uh, so yeah. So there's an example. Well, there's Paul. an example. There was the murders weren't caught on tape. That's no, no, but, but Paul one. Bernardo, oh, so if you get some... Then. No, no, I'm not saying pretend. that. I'm not saying that. But Bernardo is a good case to look at if you're talking about capital punishment. Mm -hmm. um, you may be familiar with the case of Robert Baltovich. Uh, yes, if you know absolutely, Ro yes. Exactly. Yeah, we met and him at one of the... Yeah. Yeah, well, he, was, he has been uh, accused of killing Elizabeth Payne. I know, He's and out I, now. And thank goodness the man has walked because obviously the man is innocent. Now, now, the, see, that's the, the problem point, yeah. is, though, that... Uh, there was DNA all over. There was, and, this, yeah. and it is suspected that that may have been one of Bernardo's first murders. Now, that hasn't Absolutely. been proven. Now, the fact of the matter is, if we did have capital punishment in Canada, you very well may be sending him uh, to death row for killing his girlfriend. Uh, the police ineptitude in that case led to Bernardo going on to continue and do more murders. And then their ineptitude in serving the search warrant made them cut a deal with somebody who's supposed to be as equally guilty as Bernardo, who has just been released from prison. So if we have the death penalty in Canada, what do we have? We have a wrongfully convicted man executed. We have one man who is guilty of the crime executed. And we have one person who supposedly is equally guilty walking free. Is that justice? All right. Catherine? Thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate it. I, I didn't say no, everything the way I wanted to. No, no, to, but no, no, but you, it's good. I, and I think that, <laughs> I think what, what, you know, it's an interesting when you listen to Catherine and she has mm -hmm. so many conflicting views within herself or whatever. And oh, I, think that, I think that really speaks volumes about what we, a lot of us feel about yeah. this issue. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's go to Prescott. Jan? Hi, are you there? I sure enough am. I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> this is an interesting topic. Welcome. With a lot of different viewpoints uh, yeah. amongst people in Canada. First of all, uh, I'm very glad that we don't have a death penalty in Canada, and I will pray that uh, we will never have it back. I don't think people in Canada are educated enough uh, in what the death penalty really means to understand the con true consequences of it. Our democracy is a much better and clearer democracy than that that they have in the United States. And when all comes down to it, where do we have the right as humans to make the judgment call? I thought it was the right of our maker and not of us. Mm. It even says in the Bible, judge ye lest ye be judged. So therefore, where as citizens do we get the right? And statistically speaking, it has been proven in the United States that keeping a man in prison is in fact cheaper mm -hmm. than going through and taking him and killing him. There wow. was a man... In right. Texas, I just, I just can't. I understand. I just, I can't reconcile the fact that we bring in financial issues mm -hmm. with respect to that. But, That's uh, right. but, but it is. Jen, appreciate your call. We have just a uh, less, almost less than a minute left. Alex, are you there? 
Do we have Alex? Yeah. Go ahead. Very shortly, Al Alex, just, you're going to have to make it quick. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to say that in this society, there probably is room for the death penalty. I mean, there's nobody's taking into consideration the, the victims' uh, Right. The victims' sides of this. Um, I. It's pretty much about it. All right, Alex. Appreciate that. Uh, we've run out of time. I'm sorry. Right. One, David. Thank you very much for joining well, me tonight. Me um, and and everybody. Um, I guess you will find out uh, for those who are interested. Uh, you can stay tuned here. You can uh, obviously find out within the uh, the next few hours whether or not Stanley Tookie Williams will be uh, killed in the state of California. Uh, of course, and that's your live shot at San Quentin. And um, and it's 3.01 Eastern Standard Time that he's scheduled to die. Thank you all for joining me here tonight. I'll see you again next week on Legal Briefs on CP24, Court TV Canada. Good night, everyone.